Hi, my name is Doug Donahue. I'm a Viking Yacht Sales Specialist with HMY Yacht Sales in Palm Beach, Florida. Today we're going to do a tour of the all-new Viking 46 Billfish. Welcome aboard. Starting off in the 140 square foot cockpit, you have large mezzanine seating, tackle center with three large pull-out drawers, and a refrigerated step box for drinks, three rod holders in each haunch, Come standard with two Gemlux rod holders for the cockpit. Below the gunnel is a Glendenning Cable Master, which is an electric shore power cord. And up underneath the gunnel are two electric reel outlets, both 12 and 24 volts. In the cockpit sole, we have two large in-deck fish boxes, as well as a lazarette hatch. Moving to the transom, you have a full pass-through gate. You have a large transom fish box, also plumbed as a live bait well large scupper drains, and again, two more rod holders and three more haunch rod holders. Below the gunnel, you have two more outlets on the port side for 12 and 24 volt electric reels, as well as your fresh and salt water washdowns. And finally, below me on the mezzanine is a large insulated step box, large cockpit freezer, mezzanine seating, and you'll see up top, you have two JL Audio speakers as well as the command deck air conditioning is plumbed through to the mezzanine. Moving forward into the command deck, to the port side, you have a large U-shaped set T lounge with a high-low dinette table. Over on the starboard side is a large bench style set T and additional storage forward depending on how the customer would like to spec it. You can also put an isotherm ice machine in there or a cocktail refrigerator in there as well. Fusion stereo system, Samsung flat screen TV, additional pantry closets, and then finally forward on the port side is an additional large pantry locker. Moving down below, we'll start off with the galley. Below me to my right, is a Corian countertop. You have storage drawers, storage cabinets. Below is isotherm refrigerator and freezer, a Samsung convection microwave oven, and a two burner Kenyan cooktop. Forward of the galley are two large hanging lockers and four storage drawers. There's a beautiful teak and holly laminate floor, and there's even ample storage beneath the steps. Also in the salon on the port side is two large upper and lower berths, these are wide bunks, so big people can fit in them and be comfortable. Storage underneath, and then a very large head with, again, a Corian countertop, vanity, stall shower, and Dometic head system. The master stateroom is forward. It is a large queen bed, plenty of storage below, two large hanging lockers, excellent utilization of space, and with the overhead hatch, there's excellent natural daylight. Moving up to the flybridge, there's an aft rocket launcher rail with six rod holders, release marine captain's chair, teak helm pod with Palm Beach style single lever controls. New on this model is the acrylic helm panel with push button switches. That's something we've been doing on the new Valhalla line and the new 54 convertible. Customers love it, definitely a great feature on this model. Up here you have two large Garmin screens, 4KW radar, depth finder, GPS. You have your controls for your Sea Keeper, your autopilot, as well as your Eskimo Ice Chipper and Sea Keeper controls. On the pod helm itself, there's Lenco trim tab indicators, as well as bow thruster controls in the throttle handles. Overhead in the hard top, you have two VHF radios, autopilot control again, and then your engine displays. Directly above the captain's chairs is a recessed teaser reel box with two Maya Epoch US9 teaser reels, which are high speed, high capacity reels for pulling large teasers and dredges. Forward of the pod style helm is a large bench seat with storage below. On port and starboard side, two large bench seats again with storage below. So the engines are accessed by raising the hatches on the command deck, or you can have a centerline hatch in the floor if you want to go down there while the vessel's underway. The boat is powered by inline six-cylinder, 800 horsepower MAN common rails. Uh, the cruising speed is going to be in the low 30s and top speed in the high 30s. It's powered by a 13.5 kW Cummins Onan generator. Uh, this boat was designed for a Seakeeper. It's a Seakeeper 6 
and that's mounted center line on the aft section of the engine room. One of the reasons I think this model is the pinnacle of its class is the accessibility and user ability of all of the systems on this boat. It's a breeze to work on this boat. It's also the type of boat where you can fish for a weekend, a couple hours, your boat's online and ready to go again. And that's a wrap. Thank you for spending a few minutes with us on the all new Viking 46 Billfish. My name is Doug Donahue with HMY Yacht Sales. If you have any questions about this model or the Viking product in general, check us out at www.hmy.com or give me a call. Thank you.